Difficult coworkers can ruin your life. Too many people are unhappy with their jobs or they run the risk of losing them by not dealing with them correctly. If you need to get better with your job or you need to get a difficult coworker out of the way, you need to watch this video. My name is Nick Tabor. I'm a personal trainer, fitness, uh, fitness wellness, and all that other stuff. And I talk about this stuff on this channel because I've lived through it. Now, my friends, we all have jobs, we have to pay the bills, we have to be able to make sure we put food on the table, pay the rent, make sure there's a roof over our head when we sleep at night, we gotta get a car, we got all this stuff. But you've got that person at that job who you say, hi, it's a beautiful sunny day, ain't it? So, yeah, but it's gonna rain later. You have that, you know, those difficulties at your job or maybe something's not going right and you're like, what the hell? What the F word? What is going on? What can we do? Oh my gosh, this is horrible. And you come home and you're like, what the hell happened there? Like, you know, like Joe Pesci in Home Alone. You know, what is going to happen? What can we do with that difficult coworker? What can we do with those people? And let me tell you something. Oh man, I lived through this. I had a job one point. We went through a major corporate merger and I, I cannot legally say what it was. Um, but you know, it, there was a lot of anxiety. Things did not work out. People were panicking. I've been, a I was a manager there for a long, long time. I, you know, we had, we walk into the office and immediately you felt, you felt the tension. You're like, oh, what the hell, mother uh, And just immediately everyone was down and the, the feeling in the building was just tense and it was god awful. And, you know, I'm naturally a person for me. You know, I go ahead, I walk into everybody. I'm like, hey, everybody, how's it going? How you doing? Everybody feeling great? Everybody, how you doing? How's our, oh, you're feeling good today? Awesome, man. How's the kids doing? How's the pets? I hope you're doing well. Congratulations on that new house. And you're like, yeah, I'm good. I'm really awesome. I'm good. I'm strong. And that one other person who just wants to bring the room down. Yeah, it sucks today. It's awful. Oh, these people. You got that one customer or, or somebody who you deal with who just wants to be able to just... Poof. And it's just dragging you down. But you know what? As an empathic, as somebody with anxiety or depression issues at time to time, and I can tell you personally, I can understand this. Because me as an empath personally, which that means that if somebody... I read the room and I feel the same energy as the room. If the room is bringing me down, I'm down. Personally, I get it. I get it. We all get that way. And you feel it and you're like, what is going on? What can we do? Oh, and you walk away, you hate your job. You wait for Friday. If you have a Monday through Friday job, the weekends go by too quick. And before you know it, 30 years have passed by, you're looking for retirement, and you go, what did I do with my life? What happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. You didn't do the right things in the moment, and those difficult people brought you down to their level. And those difficult people really dragged you down and really just dragged you in the mud when you could really hold yourself up. Right? Now, it may not all be that bad. You know, you may have some other people, a couple of people you can talk to, especially if you work in a big office. You know, you have your clique, you have your, your few people that you chat with, and you're good, everything's good, and everything's fine. But some people, man, they don't want to do their job, and it's just, it drains you. How do you not take that home? How do you deal with it at that period in time? Remember, you got bills to pay. You got to put a roof over the head. You got to put food on the table. You got to take care of your family. How do you deal with it? Well, we got a three-step process. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna help you out here, man. Your friendly neighborhood neighborhood personal trainers got you. All right. Step one: at your workplace, you want to set up your environment. You want to make sure that whatever's there brings you joy, brings the good moment. Like some people have a picture of their spouse on their desk. I have a picture of my wife on our wedding day, and you know I remember that moment. She. 
was so beautiful. Like, she was so amazing. She still is a, a damn knockout already. She's awesome and gorgeous. But, um, you know, she's behind the camera there, too, so I have to be able to give kudos. <laughs> but, you know, we... She is just awesome, and I remember at that moment, she's holding the flowers and holding my great-grandmother's purse. This metal old purse that's over a hundred years old, and it's just gorgeous little thing. And she's holding the bouquet of flowers, and she's, you know, off the camera, she's looking at me. And she has the smile, and she told me later, she's like, I knew I wanted to marry you right at that moment. And you know, like I, I just be myself, I inspired some confidence. And I knew if she had the confidence in me at that moment, when we were both kind of a little jittery and like, wow, we're about to make the biggest step of our lives at that moment. If she could be strong at that moment there, stronger than I was, I could be strong too. And that's a reminder for me, I'm like, ooh, this is good, right? You know, and this is my home office that I film these in, but back here, I have pictures of myself in moments where, um, you know, I have my dad and I, or I have some members of my family, my grandparents that are no longer with us, my sister down here, and a time where I, you know, I broke six boards of cement as well. Over here, I got pictures of my wedding day over this way, and then pictures of my grandparents again and other stuff. So I look at those and I just, it just gives me fuel. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's good. You know, that's good stuff. But it all depends on, you know, what gives you moment. What brings me joy is my family. So I have pictures of my family everywhere where I have to concentrate and do great work, right? And I look at that and I go, okay, now I, I gotta have that step and fuel source if I have to deal with difficult things or have to deal with that difficult people. I'm like, Look at that, that's good, right? Step two, understand their perspective. You know, they might have a lot of stuff going on, you know, like, or they may have something difficult. If you're dealing with difficult things, like for example, you're dealing with a very difficult bo boss. And I spoke about, you know, the, the merger I was a part of. And, you know, I was having difficulties with my boss at the time. And then, you know, I stepped back and, you know, she was, oh, you got to get this right. You got to do that. And, you know, and she was really, really, really um, not, it wasn't the best relationship at that point. Don't get me wrong. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. And she was a great boss. She was amazing. But I stepped back and I realized with the difficulties we had, like we're going through a major merger here. She's got to put food on her table as well. She's got two boys. And if somebody's not stepping up, she's got to put the hammer down in order to do the job right. I wasn't doing the job right. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't know. you know what? That's what it was. And, you know, understand the perspective of the fact that, you know, if you're having difficulty with your boss or if you have a difficulty with a coworker, maybe they're having a really bad emotional problem or maybe they're having a really, really bad day. Um, I remember once I had a, I had this woman who was just like, I could not get along with. Um, and she never said hi to me and I had it in my head that she just didn't like me. And I didn't, you know, I didn't deal with her, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, what the hell? You know, like, hey, uh, and then finally I was forced into a conversation with her and I realized what happened was she was going through getting her master's degree and she had a new job possibly lined up within the company and moving on. Um, but at that right time, her, at that, that time, her, uh, husband had a big massive ego trip and said, if you get your master's degree, I will divorce you because you're going to make more money than me. And just out of nowhere, like, you know, at that bro, I'm like, wow. Like, yeah, anybody would feel really awful about that because you're achieving your dreams and somebody's trying to hold you back. I don't like that either. And then, you know, once you understand the perspective, you get the why, and then you can help out and then you can, you know, get that. And you know, she didn't want to talk to me. Yeah. I wouldn't want to talk to anybody either. If I was dealing with that crap, what would you do? I ain't doing that. You know, so you just get on the way. Step three, if you haven't gotten this far, you just got to be able to keep it business. Keep the conversations when you have to talk with them about what you need to speak about, what you need to talk about. And then get that done because no matter what, you still got to get through the day. 
And yeah, and there we are. So hopefully this video helped, actually. I always want you to go ahead and climb, and I hope this has this gives you a good perspective to help out on your journey. I want you to go ahead, share this video wherever you like. There's another video right here that may help you. I'd like you to go ahead and take a look at that. And as always, we climb, and I will see you there.